Oh, you must be feeling better. You're heating up your favorite meal, beans. They're refried. It's bad enough they were cooked once, let alone twice, and now the toaster oven makes it three times. I couldn't be crying for help any louder. So I take it you couldn't get out of organizing Wunsch's memorial? Oh, no, it's impossible. She has bested me yet again. Well, then stop being such a moron, you idiot. Amy. Sorry, it's hormones. You're making me really irritable. Angry Amy's right. All you have to do is say a few nice comments during the memorial. As God said, when once tried to sneak past the gates into heaven, it ain't happening, honey. <laughs> I tried to write a kind speech about her last night, and this is what came out. Oh, it's like 20 pages long. Why is it in all caps? So I remember to yell it. Oh, well, you obviously can't read any of this. Look, since you can't say anything nice, try saying the opposite of whatever you're thinking. Interesting. I'll give it a whirl. Madeline Wunsch was a friend. See, it's not that hard to say something nice. Oh, you're vomiting. <gasps> now these fertility drugs are making me sweat. Is it noticeable? No. Yes. Oh, I thought we were going to lie to her because it's so upsetting to look at. Just tell me what room the memorial is in. We don't have a lot of time to set up. About that. Yesterday, before you convinced me to hold a respectful service, I sent some instructions for how I wanted the room to look. We may need to make some tweaks. So many balloon arches. I know. It all has to go. OK, everyone, we have work to do. Better? Much. But to be clear, the first version was dope, and you have my respect for life. Excuse me, is this the memorial for Madeline Wunsch? Yes, this is the memorial for Madeline Wunsch. Just saying her name brings tears to my eyes. Why, because her heart was made of onions? Excuse me? Madeline Wunsch was what you get when you cross a slug with an anal fissure. We spent our entire lives trying to destroy each other. I was her one true nemesis. No. That man is lying. I don't believe Wunsch had another rival. I saw it in her eyes. She only had hate for me. Are you jealous? Of course I am. I despised her with my entire being while she was only despising me with a fraction of hers. Sir, you were doing so well, OK? Don't let this rattle you. Are you wearing sponges in your armpits? If you have a better way to soak up sweat, I would like to hear it. Where are you going? To find out if there was another man. So, um, Adam, is it? Mm -hmm. I only ask because Madeline never mentioned you. Interesting, because she mentioned you to me as a friend. Friend? I think you added an R to the word fiend. No, I'm sure it was friend. I mean, based on context alone, you wouldn't say somebody was one of my closest fiends. Oh, you might. We had a very contentious relationship. She never forgave me for embarrassing her in front of Derek Jeter. Well, I embarrassed her in front of A-Rod and J-Lo together. For 15 years, I replaced her anti-wrinkle cream with sour cream. I replaced her lactate pills with Tic Tacs. Dead moron was crapping her pants for months. She hacked into my Netflix account and watched the Lizzie McGuire movie on repeat to ruin my algorithm. She made me guard that doctor who came back to New York with Ebola. Sir, maybe I want to keep it down. That it's... witch ruined my life. She demoted me from captain to uniformed officer. Eight years ago, she had me kicked off the force entirely. You were not her greatest rival, and the proof is right here. Hello, Adam. I may be dying, but I burned down your cabin in Maine. You were my one true rival. There you have it. I meant nothing to her. That cockroach Madeline was two-timing me. 